giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem, Rakakwadash, Shalom to the Lord's elect. And uh, once again, it's another video. Not sure of the exact title I'm going to put on the video, but the main topic today is the earthquake that happened in the tri-state area. Um, as you see here, uh, measured 4.8, which for for New York is um, the New York area is a pretty good size earthquake. Uh, certainly noticeable. Now, um, I'm not sure if if uh, what I had experienced earlier was was because um, um, the news said that uh, the earthquake reached as far as um, Boston. It was even felt here in uh, Connecticut because I live in the state of Connecticut. And um, earlier, this I I do know. I was taking a shower earlier. So I was getting ready to, you know, go cycling because I've been <laughs> cooped up in the house for the last, what, three days because of the weather. We, we've been having crappy weather, been raining all the time uh, over where I live. So today was uh, uh, the sun actually came out today. Let me put it to you that way. And it wasn't raining. So I wanted to take advantage of the day. Go out cycling, get some exercises, get some exercise in, and uh, that's exactly what I did. By the grace of Yahweh, I was able to do ten miles cycling, about an hour's ride. So anyway, um, while I was taking a shower, I did feel a shake. Now I didn't know what it was. I, I thought it was someone at the door, you know, because it was kind of weird, you know. And it lasted for probably about, I don't know, a few seconds. So that had to be the, the quake. And, um, uh, you know, I didn't think much about it because I didn't know what it was, you know. I thought someone was at my door. And then later, come to find out, it was an earthquake that um, happened, uh, you know, uh, on my way to... Um, to the uh, trail where I, where I do my cycling. I was listening to um, 880 uh, WCBS uh, 880 AM radio. And um, that's like a 24 seven news station in our area. The other one is um, 1010 winds. So either I'm listening, I got it on, in my car, I got it on uh, set up uh, programmed, so I'll be bouncing back and forth between the two, especially when they have some s silly commercial, <laughs> as they normally do on the, on both those channels. Um, I'll bounce between uh, WCBS F um, AM radio or 1010 winds. So I was listening to 880, which is WCBS um, AM radio, and uh, they had interviewed uh, the mayor. I forgot his name. Um, of the area where the earthquake was centered, the epi, it's called the epicenter, and that that was out there in Lebanon, I believe it was Le Lebanon, New Jersey. And he said uh, his his house was shaking violently. He he said in his in his garage, uh, things he had on the wall they all, you know, fell off the wall and fell onto his garage floor. So it was uh, at least where the epicenter was, which was Lebanon, New Jersey. Uh, it was pretty, according to what he was saying, it was very, very noticeable. And he said the neighbors all came out in the street and they were all, you know, they pretty much they were scared. So, uh, and then, oh, how can I forget? And then um, um, I was listening to Elder Pastor's video, which I have. Uh, here, the video he did before that, while while um, the earthquake happened, while he was doing a video, okay, while he was doing a video, and uh, 
you heard the concern in his in his voice. And you know, I already knew that Yahabar Shemiyasha was going to take care of Elder Pastor. <laughs> that was a given. Uh, I already knew that, you know, but you could hear the concern in his voice. And he said a quick prayer. Uh, I believe he said, um, he said, uh, in, in ancient Hebrew, he said, um, in the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, watch over me. Because he said that his, um, his building where he lives shook. You know, obviously that's of great concern, you know. He's in, like he said, in all his years living there, he never felt that. So, you know, so um, so that was a, <laughs> a, a how, what's the word I'm looking for? That was a, a noticeable experience, let me put it that way. But, you know, I already knew Yahweh Shemiah you know, going to take care of the apostle. That's a given, you know. Now, like I said, I don't know what I felt. If it was the earthquake, it had to be. That's ha that's probably, not probably, that's what it had to be. I thought it was somebody at my door because I heard I heard a, a little rattling. But I thought it was someone at my door because at the time I was taking a shower. So anyway, um, uh, when Elder Pastor did his video, the first video before this one he did here, he was, uh, the earthquake was happening while he was doing the video. And then he came back and he did this video confirming it that it indeed was an earthquake because he when the first video he did he wasn't sure if that was an earthquake he said, he said damn this, this is crazy you know he the building his building was shaking he said what the fuck <laughs> you know <laughs> and then he came back and did this video which confirmed that uh it was an earthquake indeed all right so and then my next door neighbor uh, he said something to me um he said something like, uh, uh, did you hear about the, I, I didn't hear him say earthquake, but did you hear about something he said? And then, um, you know, I'm, I'm not one for really small talk, you know? So I said, yeah, yeah, that's the sign of the times. And I didn't realize he was talking about the earthquake <laughs> that we just experienced. I was like, oh shit. So that's what he was talking about. Because the way he said it, I knew he was talking about some news that he had heard uh, on, on, uh, and he's a Jake, you know, he's a Jake. Some news that he had heard, um, I guess, when he was listening to the radio or whatever. All right. But anyway, um, like I told him, and I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, another sign of the times, man. All right. Uh, 4.8 earthquake for NYC, the tri-state area. That's that's pretty, hey, man, if that ain't a sign that Yahweh Shimei Shai is extremely close uh, I don't know what to tell you. That's one of the signs. Uh, let's see. Earthquakes and diverse. I know the word diverse. Might look up the word diverse. And you know, really, like the British say, it's about bloody time. <laughs> it's about bloody time that Yahweh Shemiah destroyed this freaking place. I re you know what I want to say instead of freaking. Hey Amen. We're ready to go home. We're ready to see this place leveled. We're ready to see Yahweh Shai come back and and uh, and uh, deliver salvation and destruction at the same time. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Luke 21 and 10. Uh, look at the subhead and things to come. So that's one of the signs. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. So for an uh, uh, earthquake to uh, hit with, with that kind of measurement on the Richter scale, 4.8, and um, I'd read some ways, somebody said that's, that's just a sign of things to come. There might be another earthquake. Usually that's, you know, you have your aftershocks and all of that. So we just have to wait and see. You know, we're definitely in uh, in uh, uh, perilous times, man. There's no doubt about that, man. And it's it's not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse before it gets better. And better for us that believe in this knowledge, this truth is is uh, for Yahweh Shai to come with the holy angels, pursuant to Bible prophecy, and to destroy this place. 
and then to gather his elect and then eventually take them back to the land of Israel where thus the, the kingdom of heaven begins. Okay, which the kingdom of heaven is going to be on the planet earth according to Bible prophecy. So Yahweh Shai comes back and gathers his elect and bring them back to the land of Israel pursuant to Isaiah the 14th chapter. That's what we're looking for, man. And at that time, America is going to be totally destroyed. It's going to be on fire. And it's going to burn for a long time, man. Okay? So anyway, Luke 21 and 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. And famines and pestilences. So all the signs are there. And it, again, it's not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse. Until America is totally destroyed. Okay, thus saith the Lord. Uh, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. So we're in that time now, brothers and sisters of the household of faith. Okay, Luke 21, 11, there will be great earthquakes and there will be famines and plagues in many lands. And there will be terrifying things and great miraculous signs from heaven. You know, one of the greatest being um, Yahweh Shai delivering his elect. That's going to be the, besides those nuclear missiles and the chariots destroying this place, laser beams coming from the chariots, that's going to be the one of the most miraculous signs yet. Yahweh Shai gathering the elect right into those chariots, pursuant to 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. So we are in that time, baby. All right. This is, this is a time for us to be circumspect. This is a time for us to be on our toes, man. Like they say in 10 toes down. <coughs> this is it, man. This is it. 4.8 on the Richter scale. Earthquake in NYCT, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Boston. They felt it as far as Boston, man. So you know Yahabar Shem Yahushai ain't playing, man. <laughs> hey, this is all right. Um, uh, where do I want to go? Haggai. Let's go to Haggai 2 and 6 before I play a little bit of Elder Pastor's video. Haggai 2 and 6. It's exciting. Just like, uh, what's his name said? Uh... He played Blade. The hell is his name? Wesley Snipes in the movie uh, Blade. He said, Ooh, it's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the time period we're in, brothers, sisters. Haggai 2 and 6. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth. See that? Let me read that again, man. Haggai 2 and 6. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. Ooh. So the Heavenly Father is doing his thing, man. He is doing his thing. He went when those great destructions come through. These people are going to be terrified like they've never been before. And at the end of all of that calamity, you know what's going to happen? The names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is going to be magnified. Absolutely, man. There's no doubt about that. Just like he did in the past. Just like he did in ancient Egypt when he uh, magnified his name by destroying Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea. In the Gulf of Suez. Which is the most northern part of the Red Sea. Joel, the second chapter. I think it's 2 and 20. Joel, the second chapter, the, uh, bear with me for a minute. Joel, the second chapter, the, uh, 29th verse. Well, let me start the 20th, the 30th verse, Joel 2 and 30. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth is the heavenly father speaking. His name is Yahweh through the prophet Joel. He said he will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. And we're in that time now. 
blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness. Wait a minute. Do we not have a uh, uh, eclipse, eclipse coming up on April the 8th? And it's, it's kind of, today is what? Today is uh, April the 5th. And that earthquake happened. So that's kind of like an omen, if you will, to what is set to happen on April the 8th. We just have to watch. We're in a time of watching. How wish I said it best? He said, watch as well as pray. So we're definitely, and we know what to look for. Those of us that know this knowledge is truth. We know that these things that are happening, uh, whether Esau is behind it or not, okay, we know that they're all signs of prophecy and they're all signs of the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai you know we understand that so in a way we, we we're, ex we're excited and we're looking forward to it because we know uh, ultimately Yahweh Shai got to come and destroy this society one of the major prophecies we're looking for to happen is the mandatory implantation of that chip that has to happen man all right because how wish I said it best, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass till all be fulfilled. That's one of the prophecies that must be fulfilled. He calls if all both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now you got these Israelites that have sold out. It's the only explanation that makes sense that are giving you the wrong interpretation concerning that, that prophecy. So when that happens, when Esau make that thing mandatory, they're going to have a lot of explaining, or I'll say it like... Uh, Ricky Ricardo from I Love Lucy, you got some splaining to do. They're going to have a lot of splaining to do. Okay? <laughs> They're going to have a lot of uh, uh, fast talking to do, man. Especially that guy, that uh, the general horse rider himself, Bishop Nathaniel. He's going to have a lot of explaining to do. Because he's been withstanding our words for years concerning the MOTB and what it really is. And not just him. He got company. He ain't alone. That guy from the uh, the ISUPK, he's another character. All right? And uh, I think, uh, what's his, uh, Wi-Fi, which I was, I watched a video by Elder Apostle Ramla, uh, uh, the brother GMS Guyana. He, I guess he did a video saying they're in league with, well, he's in uh uh, he had a dream, the same dream that some member from Wi-Fi had. And uh, Elder Apostle Ramlab was saying, look, we're not in league with Wi-Fi. You know, if you go to Elder Apostle Ramlab's channel, you'll see the video. You know, so through the spirit, I try, I try to stay up on everything that's happening out here. You know, scriptures say to be vigilant, you know. So again, Joel, the second chapter the 30th verse, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. So again, you, you got the eclipse happening. Okay, the, the which is really an, a loon. Uh, um, is it? A, I do believe it's a. Let me see. It's a lunar eclipse. Let's see. I want to make sure. Uh, it might be a solar eclipse. The lunar lasts longer than the solar. April. April 8th. Forgive me, there's so many things to remember. Okay, so it's a solar eclipse. So it won't last that long. Okay. Oh, did you see that? Wow. Hold on, let me... Look at that. <laughs> wow, that's that's kind of slick. So that that's that's a solar eclipse, right there. Okay. Uh, let's read this. A total, which that in itself is a major sign. Another sign. A total solar eclipse will take place at the moon's ascending node on Monday, April eighth, twenty twenty four, visible across North America and dubbed the Great North American Eclipse by some media. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the earth and the sun, thereby obscuring the image of the sun for a viewer on the earth. So there you go. So is that a, is that a sign? Absolutely. And remember that the Heavenly Father created 
those lights matter of fact let's go to that real quick genesis the first chapter the heavenly father created those lights as a sign okay wait a minute It is right here. The book of Genesis, which the word Genesis means beginnings. Genesis 1 and 14. And the powers said, the reason why I said powers is when you go into Hebrew, the word there for God is Allahayim, which that is the Hebrew word for powers, which include Yahweh and the angels that made everything that you see. Yahweh and the angels made everything that we see. Okay? Such as, uh, you know, the trees and all of that. Okay? the earth okay um and the power said when i say everything that we see of course i'm not talking about the buildings and all that i'm talking about the earth the trees the rivers etc stuff like that and the power said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs see that for signs and for seasons and for days and years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And the powers made two great lights. The great light to rule the day. Or the greater light to rule the day. That's the sun. And the lesser light to rule the night. That's the moon. He made the stars also. And of the two, the, the sun and the moon. The moon, is, was, the moon was created to calibrate time. Time is calibrated on the planet earth by the moon. Because uh, case in point, the word month comes from moon. Tells you that in the Apocrypha. So there you have it. So the key that we get from the scripture is these lights were created as what? As signs. And let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven. I'm sorry. And let them be for signs in the 14th verse. And let them be for signs. Okay? So that major eclipse that's set to happen on April the 8th, which is, what, three days from now? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Friday, so really, uh, most of Friday is gone already. So really, Saturday and Sunday. So uh, full two days from now, the eclipse is set to happen. So we got to wait and see what will transpire on that day. But I think that that earthquake that we had today is a, a prelude to to. to what may happen on April 8th, uh, 2024. Again, we have to watch. Matter of fact, let me show you what Yahweh Shai said. Was that Mark 13? Yahweh Shai said for us to watch as well as pray. We, we, we're we living in a time where we gotta, you, you got to constantly watch. Again, it is written, let us not sleep as do others. Maybe I'll get that next. Mark 13 and 35. Watch ye therefore. These are the words of Yahweh Shai. This is what he told us to do. Okay, let's not forget his words. Clearly you see these words written in red. This is what Yahweh Shai told us. Watch ye therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh. At evening, or and all these signs is a prelude, an omen to the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. All these signs that 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 you that you you're about to that you're seeing now and you're about to see. Okay. It says, watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. Who's that? Yahweh Shai. At evening, or at midnight, or at, cock, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest come in suddenly he find you sleeping. And, and what I say, I say unto, and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. That's what he said. Watch. Watch for him. Watch for his coming. Now, Look at the 36th verse. Least come in suddenly he find you he find you sleeping, right? Well, let's go to uh because uh, the apostle Paul warned us about that. First Thessalonians the fifth chapter, the sixth verse. Let's go there. Yeah, let's begin at the fifth verse. Ye are all the children of light. That's us. We're the children of light. We have this knowledge, this truth to guide us. 
Okay, that's one of the reasons why we're watching. And the children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Now, it tells you in Isaiah 60 and 1, the majority of people are in gross darkness. They don't know what the hell is going on. So we're, we're in a privileged position. <laughs> Isaiah 60 and 1, arise, shine for thy light. There's that word light again. For thy light has come. That, that's, that, that's the understanding of these prophecies, these scriptures. And, and really, this Bible is all about prophecy. That's, that's the, uh, if you can't divine prophecy, then truly, Yahweh Shem Yahshai ain't dealing with you. It's about, the, the, again, the, the most important individuals to Yahweh Shem Yahshai is the prophets. Absolutely, man, the prophets. Okay? Uh, the, the prophets were known as God's man. The Most High's name is Yahweh. Okay? Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. What's the glory of the Lord? The understanding of this Bible, this knowledge, this truth, which is not given to many. And here's one of the reasons why. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. That's a metaphor for ignorance. The majority of these people on the planet Earth are ignorant. They don't know what the hell is going on. Only, only a, a handful, a few that really know what's going on. The, the wicked elite of Esau and the righteous elite of the nation of Israel. Those two groups. The wicked elite, the top wicked elite of Esau and the righteous elite of the nation of Israel, the Israelites. They know, both groups know what's going on. Everybody else is caught in the middle. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. There you go. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And what do you think that is? The understanding of this, this truth, the understanding of prophecy. And that's one of the reasons why we're going to be calm, cool, and collective, because we understand and know what's going on. Now, a person that don't understand and don't know what's going on, they're, they're going to be erratic. They're going to, they're going to go out. As, as this thing escalates, let's say we get a few more earthquakes. And people are going to start bugging out, man, because they... <laughs> They don't understand. All right? They do not understand. That's one of the reasons why they're going to bug out. That's why it tells you in Isaiah 33. Let's get that. Isaiah 33 and 6. See, I'm moving through these scriptures through the Holy Spirit. I don't have no list. I'm just totally going according to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's feeding me and I'm feeding y'all I'm feeding y'all out there. You brothers as well as your sisters. That's that's what we're supposed to do. That's what we've been called to do. Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge. The wisdom and knowledge of what? Uh, what of, of, a, of, a, of a prestigious college? I don't think so. The wisdom and knowledge of this Bible, these scriptures, in particular, these prophecies, what to watch for, what to look for. Our Lord is on his way, stuff like that. That's what it means, wisdom and knowledge. That's what it's talking about. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. That's what's going to keep our minds stable while everybody else is losing theirs. Because they don't know what's going on. They don't understand. Okay? They don't know what's going on. They don't understand. Especially our people. That's why two-thirds of our people, they got it coming to them, man. As in brutal judgments. Judgments of death. Destruction. That, sun, that uh, earthquake earlier today shook a lot of, literally shook a lot of people. <laughs> literally. Okay? And, uh, and uh, Elder Pazitaha, he wasn't shook. He's doing his video. He's a little concerned because the whole the building he lives in, it shook. But he went right back into doing his video. He said a quick prayer, and that was it. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's how you do it. I was right, um, at the time, I was riding my bike. My, I was cycling while, while I was listening to his video. I was like, yeah, that's how you do it. You know? Ain't no time to be afraid, man. Fuck that. <laughs> the hell with fear. What is fear? There's the... the, the uh, there's a saying, an acronym of fear, false education appearing as real. You know, if you, if you uh, have the understanding, if you have great understanding, you, you really don't fear. Because you have, why would you? you? You understand what's going on. All right? I mean, we still fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh absolutely. But you, you, the difference is we know and understand what's going on, unlike the people in the world that don't know, that don't understand. They still believe that God is all love. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it hasn't dawned on them that the Heavenly Father believes in creating evil. Let me show you this. Uh, shall there be evil in the city 
is that Amos 3 and 6? They don't know, man. They haven't got a clue. All right, Amos 3 and 6. Shall they, a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And that takes us back to war. Back in the time of war, trumpets were blown and, uh, you know, the nation went to war. So, of course, by you know, naturally the people would be afraid. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? I would say that earthquake, earthquake was evil. Right? Which the word evil, when you break it down, is a compound word. It literally means bad time. Ev means age. Il means bad. Put it together. Bad age or bad time. It's another thing that Yahweh Shem gave us the mind uh, to do. To discern words. To understand the meaning of words. To break it down. And all words go back to the Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. Or the Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Okay? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? There you go. So who did who brought that earthquake to pass? You got it. The Heavenly Father Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. So that's one of the reasons why our minds are going to be stable. Because when you people you look at it as as uh, oh, this is a, a, a how how would you say it? You people of the world, you'd say, Oh, this is a terrible incident, a travesty, you know, a terrible incident. We look at it as judgment of Yahweh Shai. That's how we look. We look at it spiritually. Like it says in 1 Corinthians 2 and 15, the spiritual man judgeth all things. So what you look at as a, as a travesty and a terrible event and however you might put it in the world, we that know this knowledge is true, we look at it as judgment of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai. That's how we look at it. We look at it through through the eyes of, of, of prophecy, through the eyes of the scriptures. While you people of the world, since you don't have this knowledge is truth, you look at it as, oh, it's a terrible event, oh. You know, so anyway, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. See that? And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. There you go. And that indeed is a treasure. So getting back to um, not sleeping, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, the fifth verse, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. But let here's the point. But let us watch and be sober. Let us not sleep as do others. Because you go in Isaiah 16, 1, it tells you the majority of people are in gross darkness. The majority of people are sleeping. Okay? Even while they're awake, they're sleeping. They don't know what the hell is going on. But we do through these prophecies. We've been given this gift of faith. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. See that? See that? So... There you go. Let me play a little bit of this video here by Elder Pastor. He, uh, what he did was he went to the Angry Prepper. He's a guy that he watches. And uh, this guy was uh, breaking down the uh, uh, what transpired with the earthquake there. So let's check it out. This came up, uh, the Angry Prepper, which I subscribed to him, NYC Earthquake. So I'm just going to let you listen. This is free, uh, fair use, fair use, fair use. I don't make money money off of these videos. Right. This is just to cons confirm what what I believed, which is uh, which actually happened. So let me just let it play. They said it was in. The All right, guys, what's going on? Thank you for joining me today. I know this was last minute. This is very, uh, you know, but. Interesting, we experienced a an earthquake here. They're saying 4.8, but I think that was closer to the epicenter, which was in Jersey, which is south of me. So anyway, uh, I thought it was just very interesting. Uh, yep, felt... Okay, so what he just said, uh, the the 4.8, the measurement came uh, uh, close to the epicenter, which... Uh, happened in Lebanon, New Jersey. So no wonder when the um the newscaster excuse me when he interviewed the mayor I, th I believe it was the mayor from uh, Lebanon, New Jersey. He said that um he was at home when uh, the earthquake happened and his house uh shook a great deal. Okay, he said that uh in his garage there was stuff all over the floor. 
So they got a good shaking over there in uh, New Jersey. And then, it, of course, it, it uh, filtered out, you know, as far as, as, um, as, far as Boston. Or well, according to what Pastor R put, as far as Florida, which that's pretty much the East Coast. So I would say, oh, they, uh, as far as uh, Washington, too, reports came in. So I would say that that um, quake kind of shook the East Coast, so to speak, the East Coast of the United States. So, yeah, man, we watching, man. Rich D said felt it in uh, CT. Um, yeah, my, uh, my son's mother, she said she didn't feel it. She was in CT, but her Trumbull Facebook page, they were ranting and raving about it. Uh, somebody... Oh, so, okay, so that, that, that had to be what I felt. Even though at that, at that time I didn't know it. I thought it was someone at my door. I felt the rattling. And uh, he just mentioned Trumbull. Trumbull is not too far from me, where I live. Uh, Trumbull, Connecticut, so, yeah. I felt it in North Carolina. The origin is New Jersey. Thank you for that. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, they say they felt it all the way up north to uh, Boston. I found that to be a, a interesting. And then, uh, yo, Manolo, do you have a job? Like, you are always... Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so it was pretty interesting because this one, at least for New York, was a little more uh, pronounced. It was you, you definitely felt this one. A couple other times we had it, we didn't know whether it was the train or truck driving by. And then the news told us. This one, I was sitting in my chair, and I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm waiting for a truck, truck to pass by. And then my seat starts bouncing up and down. I'm going... That's in, and before I could finish it, the wife calls up, and she's like, and as soon as my phone started ringing, and I saw that it was her, I'm like, yep, it's an earthquake. So I pick it up, and she's, uh, you know, she said she was crying. I, I, <laughs> I, it, it wasn't that bad, <laughs> but the, uh, nonetheless, she said she was crying. Felt it in Albany. Felt it in Albany. Uh, Mark and John felt it in Albany. We the people felt it in PA, Lebanon, New Jersey. Obviously, if you're anywhere in New Jersey, you felt it. Long Island got, got a rumble. All right, Steve said Long Island got a rumble. Felt it in, what is that, Coretta, Jersey? I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Felt it in Port Jervis. Mohawk Valley felt it. The chair knows. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, uh, not, uh, yeah, the chair knows. And it's funny because. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Uh... I'm just reading the comments here. Should be able to blow this up. This is from Kitty. Uh, tremors not come in singles. It's a warning. Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. I think there'll be another shaking. Well, Haggai, you know, book of Haggai 2 and 6, the Lord says he arises to shake the earth. We're in that time, man. We are in that time, brothers and sisters of the household of faith. It's not the time to be to be uh, having a ball, so to speak. These are serious times, perilous times. Perilous times, what the Bible say? Perilous times shall come. Perilous means dangerous. Bear with me for a minute. Let me see if I can find that scripture. Perilous. I know the word perilous is there. It is right here. Second Timothy 3 and 1. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. Look at the subheading. Difficult times will come. In the NLT side, the dangers of the last days. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. We're in those perilous times now. Uh, the NLT. You should know this, Timothy, that in the last days, there will be very difficult times. That was said back then, and that's even more so now. Perilous times means difficult times. Let's get back to the video. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, sorry. Just trying to read a lot of text messages because I'm not with that. All, not a, I, I, I would say a decent amount was flooding in. People like, uh, <clears throat> you know, people texting me like, New York City felt the impact of a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. 
the epicenter was in Lebanon, New Jersey. Somebody had just said that. Thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> and again, like I said, WCBS uh, AM, 880 AM, they interviewed the mayor from Lebanon, New Jersey, and he said his house got a good shaking. All right, so. And then, you know, they, they'll brief us on more. There's no more to brief. It came in the past. But. As it was going off, I'm sitting in my chair, and it's bouncing, and when I realized it was an earthquake, I'm like, how fast can I get downstairs? Keep in mind, I'm in 20, I'm uh, 21 flights up. 21 flights up, even if I flew down the stairs, would take me probably a minute, a full 60 seconds, which by then, the earthquake would have been over. It lasted about five seconds. So if you're reading these comments like I am, you, you see a lot of, a lot of people a lot of people reacted to that quake. Okay? A lot of people, man. There's nowhere for me to go but the staircase. She was making toast, as old people do. They make toast at 10, 23 in the morning. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty interesting. And then Mike, uh, Hudson Valley Prepping just said, shook us up pretty good. <laughs> and... No damage at all. You heard what uh, Mike said, and the pastor reacted to it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man, I got two and six. That scripture's screaming in my brain right now. The Lord has said, he said, he arises to shake the earth. The real shaking is going to come when uh, when those nuclear missiles uh, are shot. The, the, the scriptures say the earth shall reel to and fro. Let me get that for you. This is no joke, man. And you know, all these Israelites that are playing games, that's when game time is going to be over, man. All these Israelites that are that are taking the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son for a joke, that are taking these prophecies for a joke, that really don't have no, no fear. Like it says in, uh, to quote the scripture, feeding themselves without fear. You know, those reprobate Israelites eating pork and boasting about it. You know, guys like that. Man, <laughs> they're going to shake... Man, they're gonna, they're gonna. Well, my favorite saying: they're gonna scream like an Irish banshee when, when the heavenly Father come through with these judgments. That's when Jake want to get right, man. That's when. That's what I notice about our people: they want to get right when all hell breaks loose, when the heavenly Father brings out his judgments. That's when Israel gets scared and they want to get right. This is a hell of a nation, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, this is what this. I wasn't thinking of this one, but. This is, a, this is a good one. Isaiah 20, 24 and 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. That's when those nu nuclear missiles hit. It's going to shake the earth and the earth is going to rock back and forth. So can you imagine people on the planet earth? That's why the scriptures say men's hearts failing them for fear for the things coming on the earth. What is that? Men's hearts failing them for fear. That's, that's heart attacks, people. People are going to catch heart attacks. People are going to stroke out catch a heart attack and drop dead right there and then. Mm-mm-mm. That -mm -mm. like guy does it. Mm -mm -mm. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. That's the nuclear missiles along with them chariots. And it shall fall and not rise again. Not, not the whole earth, just parts of the earth, America and Israel. Now, unlike America, Israel is going to be rebuilt. Because that's, that's going to be the headquarters for the kingdom of heaven, the land of Israel, in particular the city of Jerusalem. It's going to be a great city once again, like it was in the past, during the time of King David and King Solomon. So it's, it's getting ready to get, get juicy up in here. But, of course, when something like this happens, the uh, 911 system gets flooded, which it is probably dying off right now. But they get flooded that they heard something go. Yeah, because people get scared, man. People get scared. And then nothing even really happened yet. This is just a quick little tremor and people getting scared. You know, they're ready to jump out of their skin. <laughs> on, or, or the ground was shaking and then everybody's fucking, you know. There you go. And then the wife is on now. And she goes, earthquake was in Lebanon and felt it here. No, uh, Gene, it was 10.25 in the morning here 
or the East Coast, rather, sorry. 1023, to be exact. The last 5.0 was in 85. I remember that. I was Everything sleeping. was shaking like a queer eating a hot dog. <laughs> nice. But, uh... But, yeah, so that well, was pretty Somebody put... Pastor, I was reading it. Somebody put Robert Lent... You see it right here. Robert Lennyhan. Last 5.0 was in 85. 19, oh, that was a long time ago, man. 1985. So, we, 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 man, we we are almost there. The, only, the major prophecy that got to happen is Esau got to make that chip mandatory under the penalty of death. And it's, and it's on like Donkey Kong. It was one of the most interesting. And again, guys. <laughs> Nobody had Earthquake NYC in their bingo card. I'm pretty sure no one had that one. But uh, we're, we're, we're going to see, like There's I said, a more interesting line shit this year. And, and this right. anomaly... Yeah, that's true. I don't know if you all heard that, what Pastor said. There's a major fault line on uh, running down 14th Street in uh, Manhattan. Now, we got that information from a video we had rented. Back in the day, we used to go to... When we had our oil table around 86th Street in Man uh, 3rd Avenue in Manhattan, right there in front of the uh, hot dog stand. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Damn, forgot what it's called, man. Matter of fact, we've seen a few celebrities out there. I remember uh, me and Apostle Ramlab, we saw uh, Paul Savino from Goodfellas. He was walking down the street. We said, hey, Paulie, and he waved to us. Uh, we met uh, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Murray. He's, Bill Murray had to be the coolest dude, one of the coolest dudes we ever met. He's definitely a Jake. We met him. I could see how he got he got down with uh, Khalees. All right, because he's he's Mr. Cool, Bill Murray. He we seen him. He was cool as a fan. He didn't have no bodyguards, nothing like that. He's talking to us. Matter of fact, he bought he bought forty dollars worth of oils from us on our table. Forty dollars. He was a class act, man. Now, now unlike when me and Elder Apostle Round I was selling them shades, that nigga that played. Um, uh, that nigga that played uh, in uh, Bamboozle, Honest Abe, Honest, he had the nerve to have the title Honest Abe Honeycut. He's, we say Honest Abe Honeycutter. And that nigga that played that role, I forgot, Jefferson Bird, something Bird. That nigga walked right by our table. He didn't, he, he, all he looked, he, he looked at me and Apostle Ron and said, yeah, how y'all doing? And he kept on walking. He had some badass shoes on his feet, though. <laughs> he was clean. Them shoes, I remember looking at them shoes and said, man, that's some nice shoes this guy got on his feet. Yeah, the actor, he walked right by uh, right by our table. He didn't buy nothing, okay? He didn't support us in any way. He just looked at me and the rhyme and said, how y'all doing? And he kept on walking. Oh, fuck our people, man. Bill Murray, on, 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 now, unlike Bill Murray, Bill Murray was a class act. Not only did he buy... Uh, oils from us on our table. He, he stood and talked to us for a good 15, 10, 15 minutes. He, uh, Elder Apostle, um, Elder Apostle Rakar even asked him, hey, when are you going to do the next Ghostbusters? Something like that. And he said, Elder Apostle Rakar is a little starstruck. <laughs> you know? You know? But but he was pleasant. Elder Apostle Tower was there, I was there, and Elder Apostle Rakar was there. I don't know if Elder Apostle Ramla was there. I don't remember him being there. Oh, he met Tymok, the, the actor Tymok from The Last Dragon. He rolled up right up to Elder Pastor. They started talking like they knew each other for years. All right? <laughs> I guess, you know, Elder Pastor, he got it like that. You know, people gravitate to him, you know? And he was riding his cycle. He was he, he was uh, riding his bike, the, the actor Tymok. So the point I'm making is 86th Street, you know, you see a lot of celebrities there. If you hang out all day like we were, selling oils and stuff and um and uh damn well, there was a point I, I wanted to make too man i guess i got carried away i, I kind of forgot but um but yeah well, you know we man i forgot the point i wanted to make forgive me brothers sisters but uh but yeah yeah um anyway <laughs> totally forgot my point I wanted to make, but let's move on. Again, I'm not sure if it's connected. Maybe it'll come back to me. To the... Uh, yeah, for... Get no... Clips or not. I don't know. I, I wish, uh... 
he predicted I wish I, I, I could know for sure. Maybe they'll tell us. So major airports stopped their flights because of the earthquake. Trains also stopped. Oh, did you hear that? Major airports stopped their flights because of, because of the earthquake. Check that out, man. And that's, that's just a little thing, really. So you can see when, when, when the chaos ensues, it's really going to shut things down, man. You know? Wow. <laughs> Running because of the earthquake. I don't have any confirmation on that, but I know that's one of their protocols for anywhere that there's a, a, an earthquake. I was watching the wall sway back and forth. Uh, yeah, Mike Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival said he was uh, watching the wall sway back and forward, evacuated the building. My mother, and again, and my mother right, told me if anything, you know, stronger happens, leave the building. Okay, I'm gonna fast rope all the way down, 21 stories, just set up my fucking rope and fucking fast rope my way down zzz, on the outside of the building. I have thought of that, and I said that's not practical, but. Neither is dying in a fucking building. So with people you do not like. There's nothing more frustrating than dying in a building with... Yeah, so, yeah, it's, you know, going to end it there. Uh, hopefully you were edified uh, by this video. If you was, drop a line in the comment section. I'll move to the next one.